Hello my friends, today we're gonna make a powerful future bounce drop like Dirty Palm in FL Studio. Here is what the final result sounds like. The FLP and every sound I used and created are available for free in the description. As a little bonus, one of the first 50 commenters will get free mixing of a drop done by me. Hope you like the video. Okay guys, the first thing we're gonna do is create a melody. Then we're gonna make a bass line. and some chords that follow the same rhythm. Now that we have created the melody we're gonna add some nice drums and effects. This part is really important because if we have a powerful drum beat, it can be easier to create the rest of the drop. The first thing we're gonna add is a kick that's freaking tight. Then some drop claps. And a ride. And some regular claps. The next thing we're gonna add are some percussion elements to create some groove. Now that we have created the basic rhythm we can add some more random sounds and effects. Now let's create the bass. This is what the bass sounds like together with the drum beat. It consists of these six presets that are playing the same bass line. For the mixing I removed some unnecessary frequencies. I also added a crap ton of compression and distortion to make the bass sound as dirty and powerful as possible. To make the bass even fatter and fuller I added this brass stab layer playing some notes from the bass line. It's just these four brass stabs. This is what the stabs sound like together with the bass line. Now guys, let's create the chords. This is what the chords sound like together with the drum beat and bass. They consist of these five chord layers. For the mixing I added a lot of distortion and compression, and made them stereo. Thank you. 
I also added this harmony layer that plays on top of the chords. The harmonies just spices up the drop a bit, and makes for a better flow. Now guys, we're gonna make the final element in this drop, which is the lead melody. I wanted the lead to be as huge as possible so I used a lot of powerful presets. One preset is playing this little harmony. I added this cutoff filter automation, this reverb automation, and this pitch band automation. When it came to the mixing I did mostly the same as with the bass and chords. I removed some unnecessary frequencies and added a lot of distortion and compression. Okay guys, now we're finally finished. If you learned something I would really appreciate it if you liked the video and subscribed. Also make sure to turn on post notifications for future videos. Love you guys.